Hey, back again, Michael Rudy's Firearms, 40 Mike Mike. And today we're talking about America's gun, or at least that's what Leviathan Group says and what uh, all the gun magazines have said about the past year. Um, you know, Springfield Echelon, right? Look, I'm not Colin Noir. I'm not gonna endorse this thing without shooting it. And I'm not as handsome as he is, so I can't sell you guns, right? Not in that pretense. And I'm not really good at making low light videos like Lucas Botkin, you know, the kind your dad watches in the bathroom. So I didn't take any money for this. This is just a guy who runs a gun shop uh, giving you his opinion of a Springfield product. I don't like anything Springfield, full disclosure. I'm biased. But I will tell you after I shoot this thing for the first time today what I think about it. Now, as far as gun goes, this seems to be the nicest thing they've ever done in a polymer pistol. The grip texturing is nice. Uh, have mounted optics on here. That's really nice too. The sights are nice. But is it my gun? No, right? I will tell you the gun of the year every year and has been since the 80s is Glock 17. Go ahead and uh, roll in the applause, guys. You know, kind of like when uh, Taylor Swift wins another Grammy. It should be no surprise to you. Glock makes the best firearms. If you don't like it, go cry in a corner. It's true. All right, as far as uh, anything else goes, uh, they did lose the uh, grip safety. So you may shoot yourself now, right? according to Springfield, because this has no grip safety. And if you hold it like this, this is wrong. Remember your grip zone was here, kids. Grip zone was here. It's no longer here, so they made subtle improvements in that route. Um, but yeah, let's let's get some rounds to this thing. Let's talk about it, all jokes aside. I really dig the feel of this gun. It fits my hands pretty well. Serrations are nice and deep. Uh, sights are good. Trigger actually feels pretty good. It does have quite a bit of take up. Let's go that bad boy like Mike Jones, right? So let's see where the reset is on there. It's not bad. So that said, let's go. All right, Springfield Echelon. First round to the gun. Look, don't hate me if I like it. Sometimes you gotta try new things, right? That's why they have a whole month about it. Here we go. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Um, first impression, first round on trigger. Uh, it, it seems pretty nice, you know? So but let's see what we can do with this. Thing. So I, I like it so far. I uh, did not put the mag in my mag carrier. I didn't want to get an aid, so we put it in my pocket, right? So again, let's see what I think about it. So the grip's really nice. It does have a more of a re recoil impulse than something like a Glock or some of the Shadow Systems or other Polymer Wonder pistols. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. For all you 320 guys, this is a better pistol already out of the box. It feels better. It shoots nicer. Um, the trigger is more tactile. It does have a uh, little bit, could, could use a little bit more of a force reset on like some of the Glock triggers. Um, but yeah, it, it's nice. I'm gonna have to try it with a red dot. This thing's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I tend to uh, lean towards more what Colin Noir said. Um, this is the first pistol that uh, Springfield has ever made that has been nice. Well, decent. I don't want you guys to uh, hate me for saying that, but if I was to ever buy a Springfield, it would have to be this one. I really do dig this thing. Um, now that said, uh, is there better pistols out there? Of course. There's a couple of them I know of. They all start with Glock and end with Glock. Um, and if you're not going to buy a Glock, go ahead and get yourself a Shadow Systems or a Zev OZ9 or what's that other brand? Ian, help me out. What's the, it starts with a G. What, what is it? Glock. Exactly, <laughs> Glock. So if you're in the market for an echelon and you just have to be different, buy this over a 320. But you could buy a P10C or here's another better option, Glock. All right, let's see what else we got for you today. Later. All right, this is about the Springfield Echelon. Well, was, but uh, just like every other Grammy Awards, Taylor Swift comes out, and this is her. 17M, Acro. Yeah. Bye.
a Glock. Stop telling us that you can't shoot a Glock. You can. If you can drive a car, you can drive a truck. There's a gas pedal and there's a brake. Buy a Glock. From the late, great James Yeager, who's in heaven right now shooting with Jesus. All guns should be Glocks and all Glocks should be 19. Thanks, Tactical Response, for making YouTube great. Later. Springfield Echelon. I'll be honest, the only Springfield I've ever owned in my life was a SDM 45 when I was young and very dumb and couldn't shoot. But this is actually pretty nice. Don't you say that, Ian. These people that can read the comments later will be mad. It's an acceptable firearm. I'm actually surprised I like it, but I like it. All right, Mr. 40 Mike Mike here brought me out to uh, test this little thing, the Springfield Echelon. We'll see how it goes. I don't think it's going to be that great, but we'll see. That was nice stippling. Let's go. Not bad. Gets an approval. Springfield, you did good. You know it's imported. Good job. Hey, there even has to be a winner at the Special Olympics. Ain't that right, Fred? That's right. And this is it. That's Springfield it. Springfield Echelon. Maybe get one. You be the judge.